Hey guys and welcome back to another episode of Club Penguin Legacy. So I was logging into the game normally until I saw this and decided it was time for me to record another episode. So apparently Gary lost his key to his office and I need to help him find his key. He told me to first look around at the sports shop to find an equipment that will help me find the missing key so that's where I'm going next. Anyways at the sports shop, you must click at the yellow jacket to find the mechano duster. After picking that up, head to the ski hill and click at the pile of snow to sweep it with the mechano duster. After sweeping, walk over the key and then Gary will pop up in your screen one more time. Anyways Gary said that I found his key and he will give me a gift to show his gratitude. Apparently I can come upstairs to his office which means I can keep his key forever which is nice. Anyways before I go to his office, I decided to show you guys that they updated the dock's design and it looks absolutely amazing. Now to get to Gary's office, you must head back to the sports shop and walk to the door at the bottom left to visit Gary's room and damn, this place looks absolutely incredible. Just love how this place looks exactly how it looks at the PSA missions. Whoever designed this room is awesome. Makes me wish this was not only a PSA mission only room at the original Club Penguin. You can also put more trash at the bin and spin the globe by putting your mouse over them which is awesome. Anyways there is also another new custom room and you can get there by heading south of the HQ. And of course it is the gadget room and damn this room is incredible as well. You can pop the balloon which is awesome and like with Gary's room, whoever designed this room is awesome as well and I wish it was not a PSA mission only room at the original Club Penguin as well. The two new custom rooms both share the same music obviously. Anyways I forgot to show you guys last episode that the gift shop now has Halloween decorations as well as updated music and it is absolutely amazing. Damn a lot of the music at this game is just so incredible. Anyways apparently there was something that I did not know was implemented last episode and it is the tour guide quiz. So basically the quiz is different than the one at the original Club Penguin and if you get one wrong answer, you have to wait like a day for you to take the quiz again. Obviously you need to be like at least 45 days old at this game and you must have all correct answers to get the tour guide hat. Honestly I love that the quiz is much more different than the one at the original Club Penguin as it makes it more challenging. Anyways the last thing I will do before I end off the episode is play all the dance lounge mini games to get some of their stamps. Like always I will be doing a montage by speeding up the gameplay and replacing the music with non-copyrighted music so yeah, the montage starts now. <laughs>
Anyways that is it for this episode. Honestly I think I collected a decent amount of stamps in this episode and I'm surprised I was able to make it till level 29 at Astro Barrier. In the next episode, I will explore the Wayback Party. If you guys enjoyed this video, then please like, comment, and subscribe for more Club Penguin Legacy videos. With that being said, see you guys next time.